Hey, what's going on? I'm Frank the Man, and you're watching Frank the Man TV. Thanks for tuning into this video. So, in a few short moments, I'm about to show you how it went from this to this. Crazy, right? Stick around, I'm gonna show you how we did just that. Let's get it. All right, so here we go, you guys. Part of the reason why I'm so good at cutting hair is because I am a licensed cosmetologist. And if you're probably like, bro, no, you're right. eh, I beg to differ. Anyways, right, so the story goes with this cute little girl here is that her brother, her older or younger brother, I can't remember what, uh, her grandmother brought her in. And she said, dude, oh my God, can you please help us? And I said, yes, why not, right? So all I'm doing here is I'm trying to find the, the longest piece of hair here that I can actually work with. Um, not so much a layer because you know the hair is not cut in layers here but it is it is pretty messed up you guys it's ex actually it's extremely messed up so here we go I just found that the shortest layer that I can work with and we're gonna use this as a reference point as I always say or as a guideline for the rest of the hair here now this works for obviously men's hair women's hair hair is hair you know it doesn't really matter you know but all we're doing is we're doing a 100% blunt cut we pretty much this poor little girl has to start all over again look how much hair i'm cutting off you guys and trust and believe me it's it's it could have been a lot shorter but um i didn't want to you know i didn't want to do that to her so i'm using my comb to hold the hair i'm using my guideline on the right to be my guideline to keep continue cutting hair and as you see on the left here it wasn't as bad as it was on the right so i'm pretty much matching it up right now And also, you guys, I do have a belief. It is an opinion, but it is my, you know, my internal belief that a kid's haircut has to be less than 15 minutes. And the quicker you get, the more advanced you get in this industry, you're going to find out that it's a lot easier to just go ahead and cut hair really, really quick when it comes to kids because they're so fussy. And the reason why you see me back up the camera now is because um, since we're giving her a blunt cut, we have to stand her up and make sure that, that when she stands up is how she's obviously going to always be wearing her hair. So we have to make sure that when she's standing up that the hair is also straight. So that's exactly what I did here. But yeah, like I said, you guys want to make sure that you're cutting kids hair in under 15 minutes, you know? I mean, plus like a lot of people charge cheaper. I believe we should charge more to be honest because they're so fussy. But hey, man, that's the whole nother. That's a whole nother video. You feel me? And I know I'm going to get a lot of backlash for that, but I really don't care, you know? But here we go. We're just pretty much matching it up, making sure that it's 100% accurate. And I know I sound like a total douche, you guys, because of the kids, but man, like, you don't know our struggle, yo. You really don't know. Kids are extremely fussy. If they're good, yeah, go ahead. Hook the little homie with a hook up. You feel me? Why not? But if you're your badass kid over here wilding out, man, you really think that I want to go ahead and double work myself, annoy myself, you feel me, and cause myself, cause my internal peace because, you know, your kid doesn't want to sit still and on top of that, you still want me to charge you cheaper. How, 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 Sway? How? You feel me? How? How is that possible? So yeah, you guys, all I'm doing here is I'm making sure that it's 100% accurate. You see how she's standing up? When you're doing a blunt cut, you want to make sure that they always stand up. You know, because this is the way she's going to be wearing it, as I, as I mentioned earlier. And look, look how fussy she is. I don't know if you guys, I know, I know you've been listening to me, but you've also been watching me. She's really fussy. And here, right here, all I'm doing is I'm point cutting and I'm going, I'm doing the out, not uh, out. So you won't say ouch method. And by that, if you're wondering what I mean by this, it, it looks like I'm going in, but I'm actually pulling out. So I'm, I'm pull, pulling out. So I won't say out. Whenever you do a blunt cut, you want to do this for the simple fact that uh, you don't want it to be you know, blunt. Oh, and by the way, if um, if you're watching this and if you're wondering why I talk like, I guess I, I have an, uh, what do you call it, uh, an East Coast accent, uh, stick around to the end of the video and you'll find out exactly why. <laughs> and I know that's random, but some cat told me, why do I sound like that if I'm from the West Coast? Like, like I said, she was so fussy. She was like, bro, get up off me. She wanted to go check in the mirror. 
but it's okay i don't care you know someone has to do this guys you know like I, i'm actually well known for cutting kids hair and look at her look how cute and adorable she is you know why wouldn't you want to cut her hair And right here, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my version of, of framing her face. So you just pretty much split it from the middle, grab a little bit of little bangs there, and you cut either an inch, half an inch, two inches, whatever it is that you wanna cut. I just wanted to do like half an inch to frame her face better because her hair is really uneven. And by that, I mean I'm grabbing a little bit of her hair in the front and I'm gonna cut it diagonally. So I can go ahead and frame her face. You see that right there? I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right there. I know you, you guys can see my guideline right there. Boom, right? So now I'm cutting it like in a triangle in the, in the, in the front so I can go ahead and, and frame her face. See how fussy she is, you guys? And this is not to take anything away from her. I don't want you guys thinking that I'm being mean or that, that I didn't want to cut hair because, yo, I volunteered for this. I didn't have to cut it. There was other people, you know, who could have cut her hair, but I wanted to, you know? But I'm just saying this to, to let you guys know it has to be under 15 minutes. So there we go, just framing her face. From that short layer in her bangs down to the rest of her hair and people slither you can do whatever yo you can either slide this the shears or you can just do exactly what i did just cut hair all right you guys and this pretty much concludes our video i know it's short and sweet but you know this was a really nice you know fixable haircut and that's exactly what we did here thank you so much for watching and like i said don't go anywhere Hold on, hold on. Now, before I go, I have to address something, right? In my last video, there was a cat by the name of, I can't remember his name, but he left a comment in the comment section and he said, if you're from the West Coast, why do you put, why do, why do you put on a, um, not a British, but a, uh, 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 an East Coast accent? Well, first of all, homie, it's West Side, not Kelly, but that over, you feel me? All day, every day, West Side, West Coast representing, you feel me? Um... And I hope you're not taking any offense to this, to this, you know, to my response because I didn't take any any offensive to your response at all. Um, however, I, I did I did tell you I was gonna address. It. Um, I don't know, yo. I really do not know, bro. I for some reason it started happening like two years ago when I first put up my first YouTube video up, um, which is how to pompadour. It was actually pretty amazing. I won a five hundred dollar scholarship from it. Um, uh, I really don't know. You feel me? To answer you, to thoroughly answer your question, I really do not understand why it started happening. I think el mismo problema con mis errores. Have you just heard it just now? Um, I have the same problem in Spanish that when I'm when I'm trying to roll my R's, like like it's not gonna come out because I'm trying to force myself to do it right now. Pero like tamarindo. There you go. There you go. Tamarindo, carro. Um, what else? Uh, Toro. See, it, it just it just happens. I don't know why I have the same. Ours are funny to me. It happens sometimes where I'll say I pronounce it. You know, lo puedo hablar perfectamente. You know, sometimes. But then in English también, I it'll it'll mess up as well. So if that answers your question. Um, there you go. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you stuck around to the end of this video, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe in the, you know, in the little button down there. If you haven't, uh, uh, a comment, man, let me know what you guys think of these videos. I'm putting a lot of hard work into these videos. And of course, please go ahead and like these videos so people just like you can go ahead and find it. Thanks so much for watching. Salute y'all. Take care.